Sur le pont d'Avignon, on danse, on danse. Sur le pont d'Avignon, on danse tous en rond. Les jolies filles font comme ça, les beaux garçons font comme ça. Sur le pont d'Avignon, on y danse, on y danse. Sur le pont d'Avignon. He is one called Cheering at Castle Ray. And it goes like this. Well, the bell is set a ringing and the engine gives a toot. There's four and thirty shearers here a shearing for the loot. So stir yourselves, your penners up, and shove the sheep along. The musterers are fetching them a hundred thousand strong. And make your collie dogs speak up. What would the buyers say in London if the wool was laid this year from Castle Ray? The man that rung the Talbot shed is not the ringer here. That stripling from the Kuma side can teach him how to shear. They trim away the ragged locks and rip the cutter goes. That leaves a track of snowy fleece from brisket to the nose. It's lovely how they peel it off with never a stop nor stay. They're racing for the ringer's place this year at Castle Ray. The press is standing by the rack are waiting for the wool. There's room for just a couple more, the press is nearly full. So jump upon the lever, lads, and, and heave and heave away. Another bale of golden fleece is branded Castle Ray. Okay, one more. I think most people of my vintage and I will know this one. It's the bush christening. Um, yeah, can I? <laughs> Fill in the ones that I forget. I've written some here because I forget some of the verses. Okay, this is about um, an Irish family that moved into the bush to set up something called a shanty. And a shanty was a was an illegal um, drinking place of, of drinking liquor in the bush in those days. So this one goes on the outer Baku, where the churches are few and men of religion are scanty. <laughs> on a road never crossed, set by folk that are lost. And Michael McGee had a shanty. Now this Mike was the dad of a ten-year-old lad, plump, healthy and stoutly conditioned. He was one of the best, but poor Mike had no rest, for the youngster had never been christened. And his wife used to cry, if the darling should die, St. Peter would not recognize him. But the lucky survived till the preacher arrived, who agreed straight away to baptize him. Now this artful young rogue, while they held their colloque, with his ear to the keyhole was listening. And his features turned white and he muttered in fright, what the devil and all is this christening? He was none of you dolts. He had seen them brand colts. <laughs> and it seemed to his small understanding, if the man in the frock made him one of the flock, well, it must mean something very like branding. <laughs> so away with the rush, he set off the bush. While the tears in his eyelids they glistened, tis outrageous, said he, to brand youngsters like me. I'll be dashed if I'll stop to be christened. They are like a young native dog, he ran into a log, and his father with language uncivil, never heeding the press, cried aloud in his face, come out and be christened, you devil. But he lay there as snug as a bug in a rug, and his parents in vain might reprove him, till his reverence spoke. He was fond of a joke. I've a notion, says he, that'll move him. Poke a stick up the log, give the spalpeen a prop. Poking easy, don't hurt him or maim him. It is not long he'll stand, I've the water at hand. As he rushes out this end, he, I'll name him. Here he comes, and for shame, you've forgotten the name. Is it Patsy or Michael or Dennis? Here the youngster ran out, and the priest gave a shout, Take your chance anyhow with McGuinness. <laughs> As the young howling cub ran away to the scrub, where he knew the pursuit would be risky, the priest, as he fled, flung a flask at his head that was labelled McGuinness's Whiskey. Now McGuinness McGee has been made a JP, and the one thing he hates more than sin is to be asked by the folk who have heard of the joke how he came to be christened McGuinness. I'm CTO, CTO. Um, well, I'm one of the committee members yeah. for the On Your Bike tours. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? <laughs> you remember? About six years yeah. in that role. You yeah. enjoy it? 
Yes, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. Interesting. How did you get how did you get roped into it? My father in law. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to sing you a song. Ooh. Ooh. And this is an old Negro spiritual, but I've modified it a bit. To, and it's about your chariots. Okay. <laughs> so, the other thing is, are there any... Yeah. Is anybody here who are deaf? That's what? What, said. what? Okay. What? So this song also requires some signing for those people who who may not be able to hear it. Okay. Okay. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over northern and what did I see? <laughs> Coming for to carry me home A band of city angels <laughs> Coming after me Coming for to carry me home Silent verse now Dream on, sweet chariot sharing a double. <laughs> and the Canadians have gone too. That's Cliff and Rita. I sure hope that motel room comes with a heater. <laughs> the titanium riders, they are a small clique. They talk specs for hours. Their bikes are quite chic. 
<laughs> One word of warning, I must say, beware, you're consorting with a bike snob, Eleanor and Pierre. <laughs> Shields and Rowey, two men with a plan. Shortcut to Bruce Rock, halfway in the van. We'll ride less distance with a tailwind, we'll spin. We'll be there early to watch Frio win. So Terry dropped them right at their spot. But the spot wasn't right, and it all came to naught. <laughs> Stan called to warn them they'd got the spot wrong. They arrived a bit late, the first quarter gone. <laughs> Camping with my bad back, it seemed a bit iffy. But Colin said, the air mattress pumps up in a jiffy. <laughs> the mattress was grand until it went, phew. And then I joined Tetless Vicky and slept in the loo. <laughs> Ah, those green dots, when will they learn? It may look calm, but the wind, it can turn. Colin retrieved Phil's tent, it went sailing. Peg it down next time, a common green dot failing. <laughs> Bike Fridays, I hear, pack down very small. Their riders usually don't carry much at all. But some riders can weigh any bike down with gadgets and cameras mixed wired for sound. Yes. 